Hi guys, welcome to Stefan Eats and in this special episode we are in New York. So excited because we're gonna do a very special ultimate cupcake tour of New York City. Starting off with this spot. No, I'm kidding. It is early in the morning and we're gonna just do a full day of pizza slices. I have uh, seven places selected, uh, places I have especially uh, curated myself this list. Without delaying, uh, let's just go eat a whole ton of pizza. So excited and the first spot is just right next to me over here. So let's just walk over there right now. Let's go. Pizza, first of all, uh, just an institution, uh, just very, very famous, uh, probably one of the OGs of, of famous New York slices. And you can tell by the price, uh, $6 per slice. That's pretty expensive, it's up there. Uh, but very, very classic, very famous, a thicker crust, almost like a focaccia. This is their vodka slice. We got the spicy vodka slice here. Mm. Okay. That sauce is banging. That's what the kids say, right? Banging. It's bussin. Yeah, bussin? Okay, bussin's better. That sauce is so fragrant, sweet, tomatoey, and then just super creamy. And then you get hit with that spice at the end. The crust is pretty cool. Uh, it's really not thin crust at all. It's kind of like a thicker focaccia. But what I really like is that kind of crunch at the bottom. Okay, right. that's a really good one, but I think um, there's one that's been calling our names for quite a while here, and this is the pepperoni slice, uh, the little, uh, trendy ronies uh, that are uh, kind of making it all around the world now. These kind of curled up uh, pepperoni cups. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that was just a tomato sauce. That's already really good. Mm. Oh man, that's actually kind of spicy too. The pepperoni cups are just crispy, greasy uh, deliciousness. The char on those pepperonis, just giving it that extra kind of charred crispiness. The tomato sauce is outstanding, fresh, not salty, and you really just taste the natural tomato flavor from there. Very saucy and very delicious. I'm loving it. spot is a little bit more irregular, or shall I say, unregular. Anyways, uh, this spot I think is a little bit more newer on the New York pizza slice scene, but I've seen some really uh, cool things uh, coming out from this place. I think it's Roman style pizza, and there's one slice I have my eye on, or not yet, but I'm hoping it's gonna be there. Okay, uh, two slices and we had to get uh, the one with the burrata on it. Since we already got a uh, pepperoni one at the last spot, we thought we'd kind of change it up and get kind of like a truffle mushroom uh, pizza and look at that burrata. Oh, just want to spread it all around. Mm. Oh man, wow. Right away, the first thing you get is the truffle, but then as soon as the truffle kind of dissipates, you get the creaminess, just the ultimate cheesy creaminess of the burrata. And then those mushrooms are so earthy, are very well cooked. And there are different types of mushrooms in there. The crust itself is not as thin as I'm used to uh, with some other Roman slices, but it works really well because they're adding more toppings on this one. The next one is this kind of meat slice over here. And like I said, just very, very thick. Uh, lots of toppings on there. And let's try this one out. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. whole bunch of cheese, some sausage in there, so it's very flavorful. Uh, the tomato sauce a little bit more mild, not super tangy. 
Mm, but overall, very meaty, cheesy bite. The crust holds up to a lot of it, which is really good. We were just about to go and the owners are just super nice and they decided to give us one of their kind of giant fried pasta balls. Uh, and this one is very special because it's a cacio e pepe uh, pasta ball and it looks absolutely outstanding. Look at that. Oh. Oh, it's full of spaghetti with cacio e pepe inside. Oh, yes, that smells so good. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, oh, yes. I know you should probably come here for the pizzas, but if you're a little bit gluttonous, I think you should definitely get this on the side because that is outstanding creamy, peppery, the pasta, somehow they've kept it still fairly al dente and then just super crispy on the outside. Oh man, mm. okay, let's try to finish this and then uh, there's a pizza place around the corner. Might have to do a couple laps before we go there though. Okay, artichoke pizza, whoa, look at Holy shit, it's huge, okay, oh god. Okay, now I know why this was like $7. It's so big, they give you two plates just to cover the whole pizza. Let's try to somehow dig into this. Oh god. Wow, it's very creamy. I'm kind of tasty, are you choked? I think my only gripe with this is very salty. The artichoke is really good. I just think the cream sauce kind of overpowers everything because it's so salty, pretty good. But also I know if I finish this, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so let's take this to go for now. What's uh, the type of injury most uh, suffered by pirates? Scars. Anyways, uh, the place over here is called Scar's Pizza. They're supposed to have good pizza. Let's go eat. <laughs> okay, here we are, Scar's Pizza. And uh, as soon as you walk in, there's a bit of a lineup and uh, the slices look fairly fairly legit, uh, let's just say that. Uh, they have a couple of their really popular pies that I've been noticing that people were kind of ordering. Uh, the first one here is just the mozzarella. I think it's just a traditional margarita, but what really drew, drew me to this one is just look at that beautiful white mozzarella on there. Let's give it a shot. Mm. No. It's all about the crust, super, super thin, very foldable. Just very simple, beautiful tomato sauce, nice char. And of course, you gotta kinda just put a bit of that basil on there too. Oh. Mm. The fresh basil just makes it. This is the hot Sicilian. Again, we went with the square slice, so uh, we seem to be uh, going on a theme today. Uh, but this one is just a whole bunch of beautiful pepperonis, some uh, jalapenos on there, and then what's more special is the hot honey that they've uh, drizzled mm -hmm. on there. Oh man, the crust, very airy, fluffy, the pepperoni, salty, crispy, beautiful, and then just the kind of half spiciness of the jalapeno, and then that honey at the end to bring it home for a home run. I can't believe we're eating so much pizza today, but I like it, I like it, it's a good day.
We are now in Williamsburg and we're gonna hit up our final three spots here, starting with uh, probably one of the most exciting new spots in all of New York for a slice, L'Industrie. Are they French? I don't know, but it's a French name, so we like it. So we came here and uh, right away, as soon as you walk in, the options for slices are very unique, very cool. Uh, so here they are. Uh, we have the uh, fig and bacon pizza or fig and prosciutto, I'm not sure. There's some kind of meat with the fig on there. And then sausage, some other big, I think it's sausage, pepperoni, and of course, some ricotta. According to a couple of uh, magazines I've read, they've rated this spot one of the best slices in the whole country. Oh, no bad. Right away, the crust is an absolute winner. Very charred, earthy, so much flavor. Look at the char on there too, if you can see it. Some of the crispiest, thinnest crust you will find in a slice in all of New York. That is just masterfully done. And of course, just typical prosciutto and fig combination. You can't go wrong. And I'm loving those little ricotta dollops on there. Even by not even tasting it, you do kind of get the infusion of the basil in there uh, just in your nostrils. So it kind of just perfumes uh, the whole bite. That is a solid bite. Okay, let's go on to the next one here. Yes, this is sausage, pepperoni, and more dollops of ricotta on there with, uh, oh, you know what I just noticed too, is they're kind of shaving a little bit of the uh, Parmesan on there too. Oh, mm. oh man, oh man. Pepperoni, perfectly salty. The sausage, same exact thing, except meatier. And then once again, that crust is just winning this whole battle here. I am gobsmacked by how good the char on this pizza is. This is a proper, proper slice. I think this has gone to the top of the rankings for me today. That is outstanding. One more bite. Mm. Kind of hard to put these down. <laughs> kind of hard to share with the camera person too. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Go away. Okay, perfect. Rosas and uh, they have uh, three outposts and uh, apparently just very good grandma slice and also some fairly unique slices too. Uh, like this one, a ravioli slice. Oh, I've never heard of this before. It looked kind of cool, possibly some rosé sauce on the outside and the grandma slice, just your typical uh, New York grandma slice. Uh, you really don't find these um, in Vancouver. So I'm very excited. Another grandma slice, pretty cool. Let's power through this because uh, this is very cold. The chair is also really cold and my booty is shrinking by the minute. So, <laughs> so, um, wow, okay, I'm offended. What's really cool is that the ravioli almost acts like a kind of ricotta ball, except uh, covered obviously in the pasta shell. And then the pasta shell is kind of crispified a little bit. Also, the more I keep on holding this, uh, the more my fingers are just absolutely burning. Uh, this is really painful. It's just literally cheese on cheese on cheese, like straight up just three types of cheeses, gooey, melty, pretty good. Could use a little bit more tang, but overall, I like it, it's pretty good. And the ravioli is good quality ravioli. Grandma slice, uh, these should be one of the cheaper options. Actually, yeah, as soon as you cross that bridge into any other suburbs, you're kind of paying like four bucks less per slice. <laughs> so, uh, grandma slice looks really cool. And uh, this is really what they're famous for. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh, mm. oh yeah, that's a revelation. That sauce, outstanding, just perfectly balanced, not too sweet, tangy, tomatoey. And then what's amazing about this is you just get this huge, I just got a giant piece of garlic and that garlic is kind of half roasted. Uh, still has a little bit of bite to it. It's really cool how such a simple slice uh, can just be so enjoyable. And the grandma slice is just a testament to that. Mm, and the crust, I mean, yes, beautifully crispy. If you like flavored, grandma slice is, is really where it's at. Also, apparently they have an upside down Sicilian. Uh, gotta try that next time too. 
last slices of this whole video and we've ended with a place called Best Pizza. Uh, so, uh, some pretty grand words there and let's see if it uh, follows through on the taste. Uh, well, I'm pretty full. I'm gonna just uh, move some stuff to this side and they'll have some space now. There you go. I do the same thing with dessert. Two slices, pretty cool looking. Uh, I got the just super greasy, amazing looking pepperoni slice. I added some more chili oil on there and now it just looks extra greasy. This guy is your kind of vegetarian slice. So this one was pretty cool because veggie slice normally, I don't know, is kind of boring. But uh, when he actually told me the vegetables that were on here, it sounded pretty cool. There's broccoli rub, there's some artichokes, and I think there's some mushrooms on there too. And it looks like a fairly uh, cool little slice. I really like the toppings. The toppings are really nicely seasoned. And the, yeah, the crust is very, very crispy. Almost like cracker-like. Oh, and you know what else is on here? Potatoes. That was the third thing. Okay, so there's... Are these beans? What the hell are these? Oh, different veggies on here. <laughs> beans, <laughs> potatoes, and broccoli rub. Okay, final answer. The more I really bite into it, the more I really taste every single vegetable in its entirety. And they're very well done. And now... The bleed opposite <laughs> we have this bad boy here and this guy does not look thrilled to see me uh, let's just say uh, he's like oh no look don't eat me oh. mm. i bit your mouth off can't talk now can you it's a good slice the cheese is nice the crust is very well done it holds on to everything and it's very thin too mm. I will say one thing, those pizzas, angelic. Anyways, thank you so much for uh, joining us on this epic New York slice tour. Seven different spots, uh, all just super unique, very delicious. But I think I have to choose one spot. For you, favorite spot, what was your favorite spot? Um, I liked all the pizzas equally. Well, that's boring. Anyways, I think for me, the place that really stood out in this whole vlog was L'Industrie uh, Pizza. I really just enjoyed the whole experience and that crust was absolutely outstanding. The toppings top notch. All the accolades I think are right on point. Uh, just so amazing, such a cool experience and really not that expensive uh, to be honest when you compare it to the other pizza spots. That will be it. Uh, stay tuned because we're coming up with a couple more really cool uh, New York videos. We'll see you super soon. Hope you enjoy our videos. If you do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon so we can notify you on future videos. And of course, hit us up in those comments. Are there any other slice spots we should be trying? Let us know, because maybe I'll be back. Maybe I'll do another uh, 10 slices in one video, something like that. We'll see you uh, very, very soon. And ciao for now. Ciao for now. I'm, I'm in New York, you know? It's like, yo, ciao. For, okay, <laughs> calm down. Cool outro, where do I go? Up there, that's that's a church. I don't want to go in there. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs>